G'day guys, welcome back to the next part in the series. Uh, I think I went a little bit too long on the first part, so um, this is a continuation of the first part of the series in measuring and cutting and building the basic building. Um, so if you've got any feedback, in the comments below let me know. Um, coming up shortly after that is uh, adding the detail to the building and um, after that we'll get on to painting it. In further episodes down the track, um, I'll start to talk about adding more significant detail, more advanced details um, and texture to the buildings. Um, so thanks very much for watching so far. I've got my uh, two marks there and then I straighten them out. One other thing that's really good for drawing straight lines is a, um, a draftsman square. It's like two rulers. It's like two rulers secured together. They come fixed. It's a right angle. So you can butt this edge up against your bottom. And when you do that, this one's going to be square. As long as this line here is also square or straight, then I can just rule that line. Um, I don't have one of those here at the shop. It's still back at, uh, at the workshop at home. Okay, so now I've got my two lines drawn out. That's 12. That's 12. I'm going to cut it off here. So I take my... Uh, ruler and my knife. Again, I'm using my uh, utility knife for these big cuts. The hobby knife comes in later on for adding texture and um, cutting out windows. So there's a... Uh, I really should put a new blade in this. This is getting really bad. I've built 20 buildings with this blade plus a whole bunch of other stuff and it's getting bad. Anyway, doesn't matter. So there's our piece that we're going to start with. Now before I go any further, what I'd like to do is draw out where all my windows are going to be. So I do that by drawing these guidelines. Now my first window, if it's not going to have a floor, you can see this one doesn't have a floor. And um, conversely, this one has a floor on the ground floor. And we'll see what I do with that one later on in the series. But for now I'm just going to make some very quick simple buildings. Keep in mind you can do this out of cardboard. So what I do for my buildings is, from the base, where it's going to sit on the table, um, I measure in 15 millimetres. That, what that is going to give me is a line along the bottom, just like the ones that I showed you, and the one that I'm about to show you, where the windows are going to start. Okay, so just like that. That's 15 mil. What that means is, as I've got my piece sitting here, uh, no miniatures around the place, and I've got a miniature standing there, he's actually gonna fit inside that window quite well. It's gonna work for small miniatures and it's gonna work for large miniatures. So I make my first measurement in there. Then what I like to do is I like to make my windows about two and a half centimeters high. So I measure up from that line, two and a half centimeters. That's enough of a window to give sort of most of your normal troops a view out of the window as, 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 as normal. Keep in mind, it would be nice to get realistic, but we need to have some playability here. So I measure in the windows. So I'm just gonna pencil in here. This is 15 mil. This is 25 mil. And then I make another measurement further up the building from the bottom of my base. I measure it up another six, 60 mil, six centimeters. And rule that off. So that's what I end up with so far. In here I'm gonna put the windows. This is where my first floor will sit. And then so from that line there, I do the same thing. This is a two-story building, so I'm gonna measure 15 millimeters up from that one. And as you start to do this and you play around, you, 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 it, this will become very easy to do. It is already easy to do. So this is my floor. I'm just gonna write that in. I'm gonna measure up two and a half centimeters from the line that I just drew. That's gonna give me my windows on the second level. And then I'm gonna draw the floor. So from my floor to floor is six centimetres. I'm just going to write on here floor. I'm going to 
write in here Windows. And I'm going to write in here Windows. Now I'm only doing this just simply for my benefit so I know what I'm doing. So here's, here's what we have so far. A, trot, a rectangular piece of card. Down the bottom here, our 15 mil, our 25 mil, and then some space above the windows, then the floor. A little bit of space, then the space for our windows, a little bit of space up to the roof, and then this will be the third level, which will be destroyed. So what I do from here is start adding the windows. Now normally for the windows, from the center bit, which we'll cut and fold in a minute, I normally just take my ruler. Now this is a one inch ruler. And from that side there, I just put it in the middle, and I mark out the first set of lines. Inside, inside where the windows will go. Okay, and then okay, <laughs> mm, okay, uh, and then I flip the piece around. I don't actually use, although you could, it would make the job a lot easier. Once you've got your piece there, put your ruler on there, and just mark the other side. Easy. So for, for convenience sake, that's what I'll do at this point. Otherwise, normally, I just flip it over and I make the window my, my own width. I don't measure it, I just make sure that everything is square and then I draw my lines. But in this example, I think we'll just go through with the, the most simplest thing and that's just to draw our two lines in there. You will find that if you do this, it will be a little bit too wide, but for the sake of the demonstration, it is okay. And then I do the same thing. I flip it over and then I measure out from the outside of the wall I hope you guys are following me. And then uh, draw my other windows in. So that's what I end up with. Now I just put a little squiggle inside those areas so I know that's where my cut is going to take that section out. And I just do the same thing on the other side. So I'll quickly go through and do that. Yeah, so as I was saying before, I just want to say thanks to everyone out there in the community for their support. And um, it, it really is. And I mean, I watch Bill sort of give praise to everybody and, and talk about the community. It, it is really nice to be part of a group, an international group of people that are so supportive of one another and just love their hobbies so much that they'll uh, put out for the world to see um, on a video streaming website the stuff that they're doing, which is excellent and fantastic. So thank you very much. So there we go, there's the building. Two sides, eight windows. Before we do any more cuts, we need to make a few more. Uh, before we do any cuts, well, uh, yeah, the first cut. Okay, so we've got a, 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 a square building, but it's actually going to be ruined. And more often than not, the, the, the most uh, frequent uh, ruins that you'll see will have this diagonal line down them. So that's what I'm going to do here, just on my building, I'm going to quickly draw from the middle of the building, down both sides, a very rough diagonal line where I'm going to uh, make my cuts. So there you go. So let's start making some cuts here. So this time I'm going to use my um, X-Acto blade, simply because I get a little bit of better movement with it, and I'm simply going to just draw out following vaguely my, my outline, I'm just going to follow that vaguely. So now I have those two pieces. I still have windows drawn on there. Now I don't cut the windows out because we'll use these pieces in a minute and if we cut the windows out then we'll end up with a great big hole in it, which won't be good, which you'll see in a minute. So that's what I've ended up with, something that's a little bit curved, it's going to be textured in a minute. Now I take my ruler and I, in the line that we drew in the middle, I take my X-Acto blade and I don't cut all the way through it, I just want to be gentle, just to cut the, uh, the top of the top piece of the, either the cardboard or the foam core. Once you've scored that bit at the top, you can very easily bend it. 